yeah uh it, it was it was pretty silly i i think i talked about that drug class i was in a good bit you know two hours a week of uh of, of the drug class and it that, i hated that the most that was so stupid so they stupid just they like didn't drugs. see the uh, good yeah, side it, of it, drugs it, there oh uh, they'll yeah, teach you how marijuana you know, they'll teach how marijuana gives you brain damage and you know that that, that sort of thing it, this is book published in 2009 about uh you know uh, wh wh what do they say about um lsd which i just read an article about how it how it helps with ptsd and and rewiring the brain uh, i'm pretty sure they said it caused brain damage and memory loss or something like that you know lots of lots of good old-fashioned federal facts dmt I mean, is the one i <sighs> joe rogan molecule. sells dmt so hard do you guys ever watch the Joe Rogan podcast? DMT is a high or a trip or whatever. It lasts 10 to 15 yeah, minutes. And it exists in your body naturally. Uh, and that's critical. This all comes from the Joe Rogan podcast science. So your body knows how to like dispose of it. It doesn't ruin you in the way that maybe something that's not already in your body. And uh, I think you release it while dreaming. So you take... Isn't this the, isn't this the mushroom stuff? I've heard about No, this. that's psilocybin. There you go. Okay, so DMT is something. I guess you can buy a thing that's legal, and then you make it into DMT based on instructions yeah. from the internet. They, and it's works. it's not incredibly hard, I guess. I, I don't know, mm. uh, but they act like one ten fifteen minute trip, and your brain is rewired. You're more creative now. You you've you've upgraded your RPG character with DMT. That now you, like you'll be more clever day to day. You'll see things in a different way. I, I don't know. Seems like a good idea. If like you want to do it, go do it. Did DMT and then he went cosmic bowling. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what? Oh, you know, you don't have cosmic bowling. It's where, like, late at night on the weekends, a bowling black alley black. will turn will turn all black lights on ah. so it's dark, and then all the pins are glow in the dark, and they've got that those stars that glow that you could put on your uh, your ceiling as a little kid in your bedroom, and the lights yeah. went off, and like pretend you were looking at space. I know and shit. that's how I got Fuck. caught for all the semen stains. Oh no, I'm no. sorry. He didn't do DMT. He did a bunch of mushrooms, and he said it was absolutely terrifying. No, I have no was, idea the bowling alley did that. He, he said, bar none, his worst bowling experience. I will never <laughs> like. like I, I think marijuana is just the only drug you you want to really be getting, getting silly with. Like, I would be afraid of LSD and acid, which I think are the same thing. And yeah, really, any of those really brain altering drugs, because like, you know, I've had some scary experiences in my life. I don't want to like get trapped in some sort of like eight hour loop of my worst moments ever or something like that or going to some terror zone or something you know dmt yeah. 10, and, 15 uh, minutes i can endure okay. awful stuff for 10 minutes that's true that's true but what if you're what if you're time awful. dilates inside of your head and 10 or 15 real world minutes is 10 or 15 hours to your 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 brain your your adult brain i choose to believe that, you... that it won't but see like <laughs> dreams like a dream can be five minutes long and in your head it feels forever you know like that could be the same kind of thing i took and i'll never take mushrooms again have have you ever taken mushrooms no okay have you hypothetically <laughs> taken mushrooms no, no. i like that face he just made yeah. i like that Me? Oh, really? mushrooms? probably not <laughs> They're great on pizza. <laughs> have you ever had not as I have as a real know. job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took <laughs> we were, me and this girl. Me and this girl got some mushrooms one time, and we were. Uh, I had taken them before, but I like you buy mushrooms like marijuana, like by the ounce, by like quarter ounces or eight ounces and stuff like that. You know, and I don't know what the dosage is, you know, just like, like, like I'm a real noob as far as I've never taken them before. I don't know how much I need, but somebody just had this amount and they were like, yeah, I think it was 50, $75 or something for a little bag. And, but mm -hmm. we were so afraid of them that we took a little to see what would happen. And then we took a little more than the first time the next day to see what happened. And by the time we'd done that experimenting phase, we didn't get enough of a dosage to do anything. So we just wasted all the mushrooms by not taking enough at once. So a couple three years later, I get some more mushrooms, and I, I'm talking to a completely different girl at this point. I'm like, "Hey, I have some mushrooms. Would you like to try them?" And she's like, "Fuck yeah, I would." She used to do heroin. She don't give a shit. So, nice. not really. And uh, she <laughs> snorted. She 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 get off her back. She was nice, and we're not gonna get into this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she she was very she was very nice. Uh, and, uh, so they taste like shit. They're dried up like gross mushrooms. So I would take a chip, 
dip it in salsa and then put a mushroom on top and then nom 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 that all up because the salsa and the chip like the mixture of the intense flavor of the salsa with the consistency of the chip kind of masks the fact that you're eating like a chewy crunchy nasty mushroom that's not meant to be eaten it's not real food and i ate a lot and then for some reason i i don't know why we I was like, well, let's go to dinner now. Huh. So we get in the car and we drive to dinner. And all of a sudden I'm like, Whew. <laughs> you know, the interstate's starting to look like a tunnel. It's starting to look like I'm driving down a tunnel here. Why, why did we leave the house again? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> so we go to Walmart. I have to pick up some odds and ends. And so I've got this. Now's bag. the time to do it. <laughs> Now's the time to do it. So we're standing in line and I've got this bag of carrots. <laughs> And she's like, uh, and I'm start, I start feeling like I'm having a panic attack, which I have like maybe twice a year. And, and I'm getting sweaty and nauseous and pale and sticky. And, and I'm like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I start walking toward the men's room. I hand her the carrots and I start walking toward the Walmart bathroom. And my vision is closing in. You know, it's, it's, it's like if you stand up too quickly and everything gets yeah. fuzzy and, and you're browning out when that happens because the blood isn't, you don't have enough blood in your brain. That's what's happening to me. And it's slowly coming down to this pinpoint, it, you know, my vision is. And I walked right past the bathroom and fell unconscious right into one of those things you hang sunglasses on. You know, the, <laughs> those roly, those roly. The loudest of thing to fall into. <laughs> fall face first into it. And one of the pegs cuts my fucking head open. <laughs> I wake up lying on the floor in Walmart surrounded by a crowd of people. <laughs> And they're all looking at me like when I'm was dying. Dude, they say it the best way matter. to enjoy a food trip <laughs> You were an adult <laughs> on your own. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not all that long ago. Okay. No, but Kyle, like, Kyle, Kyle, back this up. They say the best way to experience a shrooms trip is to have lots of strangers staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> so so how did up. you get from we're going to dinner to I need Walmart carrots? My friend called me. She needed carrots. I said, okay. Don't ask why I'm, about my decision-making process. I already decided to go to dinner after eating mushrooms. It, none of it makes sense. <laughs> right. I know that now. But took, you have friends that call you for carrots? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude, that's Other the people point call me for vegetables all the time. <laughs> How is this the most interesting part of the story? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I didn't... I'm glad he brought it up. That yeah, yeah. Can you some goddamn carrots? Sure. <laughs> said you have an egg for my cake. Well, <laughs> I need, <laughs> you, know. you know, skinned baby carrots. I called. That was a friendship <laughs> test right there. Somebody was like, "How well no, do you know this guy?" It's I know him so well. If I call him for carrots at 7:45 on a Thursday, those carrots are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> No, a I've, I've got a house thing to have. A I've got a, for you. I've got a housemate who's handicapped and she can't drive, so I get her groceries for her. Is that oh, okay, just, right. just to make it. Yeah, it was Kitty. So Kitty, need some carrots, and she did not know that I was not in any place to be getting carrots, and I didn't want to tell her. So I wake up sitting on my ass at Walmart, and when I say I was blind. I don't mean that my vision was blurry. I mean that my eyeballs no longer process light in <laughs> any way. I mean that I was blind and everything was darkness and I could only hear people. And I'm going to say it lasted for a good 40 seconds. And I'm and trying to tell myself, you'll be able to see in a minute. You'll be able to see in a minute. But part of me is like, did both your eyes go into one of those sunglass pegs <laughs> and you're actually blind right now? But nobody was screaming. So finally, like my vision starts coming back and there's people all around me and someone hands me a Gatorade and I start sipping on that. I'm feeling better by the moment. Like every moment I feel a little stronger, a little, little more steady. And this lady identifies herself as a nurse and uh, she's like, what happened? What happened? I was like, ah, oh, my blood sugar's low. You know, I, my blood sugar's low. I, I, I have hypoglycemia. I, 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 I must've fainted. I was trying to get to the bathroom to splash some water in my face. And, and and they bring now a chair has been produced. And I, <laughs> I, I sit in the chair and the group, there's still a crowd. I mean, like 15 or 20 people. And I'm just like sipping the stuff. And she's like, I called the EMTs. They're on the way. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, Call and them it, back. <laughs> and it's at this point where the girl that I'm with reaches through the crowd like, like, like God and grabs my hand and says, get up. You're coming with me. 
<laughs> and I go, I go, thank God you're here. And the, uh, the nurse goes, he's not going anywhere. I'm, I'm a nurse. He needs to stay here till the EMT arrives. And my girl, also a nurse, she goes, so am I. He's coming with me. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and we start walking toward well, the door. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we start walking Do toward I know the door. Her? Nah. Okay. We start walking toward the door. Different, different nurse. Uh, we start walking toward the uh, uh, the door, and a police officer passes me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. And we we get right outside, right outside the doors of Walmart, and the police officer has made it to the scene of the incident, been informed that I am the incidentee, and now she has caught back up with me. She's like, hey, why are you running from me? And I'm like, hmm, what do you what do you mean? She's like, you you're running from me. I'm like, are you here for me? I, wh what did I do? She's like, did you fall? I'm like, yeah. Is that a crime? I was like, I, I have low blood sugar. I, I, I tripped in there. Is, is, am I in trouble? She's like, um, well now she's confused. She's yeah. like, um, well, well no. Are, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go with some barbecue though. You know, there's a Sunny's barbecue right over here. Well, you here. broke like sixty Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> the damage is is in the threes of dollars <laughs> she's like well and then the emt shows right up and he's and, and they got like this meta pack thing on their shoulder he's like where's the guy and, and she's like this is him and i'm like hey guys how's it going Th thinking god thank god i have my sunglasses on because my pupils are this fucking big <laughs> and they're, they're like you're the guy and i'm like yeah yeah i just and, I, and this guy's a good old boy i can tell by his accent so i'm just like yeah man you know i I just got low blood sugar. I, I tripped and fell in there. I'm trying to get over to Sonny's, get some of that barbecue in me. And he said, well, shit, have, get, get that pork three way. That's good. And I'm like, I don't know what I do. <laughs> and we get in my car and we go to fucking Sonny's and have the most terrifying barbecue dinner of our lives. <laughs> Man, that, that shrooms experience doesn't sound fun at all. Never again. Don't yeah. do drugs, kids. If only there was an app that you could have gotten the Sonny's brought to you. <laughs> oh, it didn't it, see. Well, I lived in the country back then. I, there was no delivery. I couldn't even get Domino's delivered. Now I'm in Atlanta. There. Yeah, no Postmates, there. Yeah, yeah, no postmates there. No. <laughs> Tell the people about Postmates, Taylor. I don't have it open. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was doing it. Mr. 